Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a face injection mask. The product I'll be trying out today is called the Uzu Face Injection Mask. Now, there's actually two colors that I have, but I'm trying out the Hydro Lift one because my skin is feeling a bit dehydrated. If you want to focus more on illumination, the pink mask is best for that. So this is what the mask looks like. On one side, we have the syringe and the other side is where the mask is. Now this product is definitely not your average sheet mask. So if you're sick and tired of these regular boring sheet masks and you're looking for something a bit more scientific, this is a really cool product to try. So basically here in the syringe, it contains a very highly concentrated serum that's preserved in there until you're ready to use it. So once you're ready to use it, you open it and inject it into here. I can feel that there's some product in here, but I guess when you mix the two together, it really activates all the ingredients. So in the syringe, it contains three main anti-aging and hydrating ingredients, beta-glucan, ceramide, and ectoin. So they're actually really good for your skin and it hydrates your skin. It also helps to boost your skin and prevent things like fine lines and wrinkles from forming. So that's really important when you get to my age because you sort of want to preserve what you have and just keep this as long as you can. So first I'm just gonna tear off the syringe part and open it up. So here we have the syringe. Right now this part is clear and to release the ampule, you have to just press the bottom of this. So I'm just gonna release it and just press it. It's kinda hard. Okay, pressed it. And is anything happening? I think now I just have to like shake it. So I'm just going to shake it and mix the ingredients together and if you can see it's actually gone a bit cloudy so it was clear before but now the ingredients are all mixed together and it's cloudy. So once it's all mixed I'm just going to open, oh it's coming everywhere. So now I'm just going to open up the nozzle to the mask and open up the syringe and inject this into the mask. Next, I'm just gonna close it up and then use my fingers to just mix it around. Once the serum and the mask itself is all mixed together, I'm going to open the packet. And just take out the mask and whoa, boy, is it saturated. It's like almost dripping everywhere. There's a lot of product on this. And now there's two layers to this mask. Oh, it's just going everywhere, crap. Okay, this is super wet. So I'm gonna apply it on my face and just pop it on, it's nice and cool. And now there's an extra layer that you're meant to just like peel off. It's like a film or net layer. So that just comes off. I could feel that it's already slipping down my face cause it's got a lot of product on it and it's, Quite a heavy mask, so I'm just gonna pull it up. The smell of this mask is quite refreshing and it doesn't leave any like stinging sensation or like tingling feeling on your skin, so it's actually quite nice. It's just that it keeps drooping and it's like, I can't see. I'm just gonna keep pulling it up as I talk to you guys. Now the instructions say to leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then let it work its magic and then come back and I'll take it off and I'll show you guys. So 20 minutes has passed and I'm ready to remove the mask. But before I do that, I wanna mention that you know when you use a sheet mask, by the time it gets to like the 15, 20 minute mark, it's already like dried up on your skin and there's not a lot of product left on the sheet. What well, was this, it's like the total opposite. I feel like it's super saturated still. Well, I guess in the beginning it was dripping with product. So I'm actually quite interested to see how much of the product did get absorbed into my skin because there is a lot of product left on this. So let's just peel this off. Wow, as you can see, there's heaps of product left on my skin. Now, the instructions, they didn't say to wash the product off. So I guess you're just supposed to like leave it on your skin and let it dry. I'm not too sure actually. I'm just gonna massage it and really work it into my skin. Hopefully it will absorb better. Yeah, there's heaps of product left on my skin. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to absorb into my skin, but you know what I'm saying that it does feel nice. It just feels really wet. I think I'm gonna wipe it off and then come back. Okay, 
So I remove the excess product. If you have time, maybe it's best that you just let it soak into your skin. But I wanted to speak to you guys about how my skin actually feels and it's much easier once I remove the residue. So my skin it actually feels really soft, super hydrated compared to before I used the product. My skin was super dehydrated and it was kind of like dry and a bit flaky, especially around under my eyes. But seems to be quite supple and soft now. In terms of wrinkles, I don't really have like any crazy fine lines and wrinkles yet, but these products are meant to prevent it. And also if you do have any fine lines or wrinkles, it's supposed to boost that up and just sort of like fill in the skin and make it a bit more plump so that they're not as visible. In terms of how my skin feels, it does feel a little bit tight. I don't know, around my forehead, it feels kind of tight there, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not like you've used a crazy toner that's like full of alcohol that's made your skin really tight. It's just a little bit tight around my forehead, but I guess that's, you know, that's the magic of it. It's supposed to like tighten everything. It's supposed to hydrate your skin and fill in any of those like dry areas to boost it up and make your skin more plump. So yeah, overall, I do quite like it. I do really like how they kept the ampule separate in the syringe. I think it's quite different. I've never used any mask like this. At first it does look a bit scary, but obviously you're not injecting in your skin, so no pain whatsoever if you guys are scared of needles. Also, I think for $5, it's very well priced. And with what's left over in the packet, I'm actually gonna use it tomorrow. I think it's great because there's so much of like that serum left over. So I don't wanna waste it. I think that's pretty good. Now it's time to rate the product. I honestly have nothing bad to say about this product, so I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10. I love that it's a very unique product because there's nothing like that on the market. So if you wanna try something a bit different and you're looking for a better quality mask, definitely try this product out. My skin definitely feels more soft and I love the dewy finish. It makes me sort of like luminous and glowy. So I love that compared to before I used the product, my skin was pretty dull. So it definitely does work. So that's it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of Tina Tries It. If there's any products that you want me to try, make sure you comment and let me know below. And for now, make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.